I was really happy to see a ton of love on the video where we gave Biomage Digivolutions to the Digimon Tamers partners that didn't get any in that show. And in addition to that love were a ton of comments asking for Biomage forms for the other Digimon seasons. And one season in particular got requested a lot. But little did you know, by the time that Tamers Biomage video was getting published, I was already planning and scheming behind the scenes. So yes, on today's video, let's give Biomerge Digivolutions to the Digimon Adventure Zero Two partners. What is up digital companions, my name is Carney X and welcome back to another video and yes I am teaming up once again with Weirdomon who I last worked with on an entire video by doing the Jogress or DNA Digivolution for the Tamers cast but today Weirdomon and I are teaming up to give those Biomage Digivolutions to the Adventure Zero Two cast. I am in full Zero Two brain rot right now. With the opening minutes of the new Digimon Adventure Zero Two The Beginning movie being shown off at Digifest and it has got my mind whirling how we may even get bio merge or bond evolutions in that movie so maybe time after time is about to activate so maybe consider this a predictions video too if you want to for zero two i felt a couple of things were important for bio merge one was that the armors should play an important role in the evolution or at least inform the design philosophy somewhat they are the de facto evolutions for a good chunk of zero two and as such are as integral to the zero two digimon in my opinion as the crests are for the adventure kids. The other I felt was important was giving a really unique mega to each of these Digimon. A lot of them already have kind of a de facto mega somehow. Gatomon has Ophanimon and Magnadramon. Angemon has Seraphimon. Vimon kind of, although not in Zero Two, has things like All Force Vigramon. So I wanted each of these new Digimon to feel unique. Or at least go in a new direction we haven't quite seen before. Some people may be wondering why I started with Zero Two and not Adventure and obviously it's because it was requested the most, but also it's because I'm really not sure how to differentiate between the visuals of a Biomerge form and a Bond form. They are very similar conceptually. Anyway, let's begin with one of my favorite pairings in Zero Two, and that is Yoli and Hawkmon. For their Biomerge form, Weirdomon look to the Native American roots of Hawkmon and its line heavily, becoming a sort of chieftain when combined with Yoli, who I have named Mapiamon. The similarities between Halsamon and Akilamon merge together nicely here, but we get the much more bipedal warrior feeling coming from Shurimon. Mapiamon gets its name from Mapia, a name of the Sioux, groups of Native American tribes and First Nations people in North America. And Mapia means sky or heaven, which feels like something we could definitely see in something like Zero Two, The Beginning. I can see this form being a powerful warrior who took what it learned as Halsamon, Aquilamon, and Shurimon, combined with Yoli's determination to become a really fierce warrior and possibly even semi-leader. Then moving over to Cody and Armadillomon, we have their biomerge form, in Yamabushimon. This Digimon takes on some really cool traits here. Of course, its samurai armor is a reference to Cody's practicing of Kendo, but the armor itself is made up of Digmon and Submarimon parts. However, the overall look becomes very reminiscent of Ankylamon, especially with the spiked wrist guards and the helmet shape. It also bears a banner on its back emblazoned with both Armadillomon's markings as well as the crests of knowledge and reliability. Also, Weirdomon stuck Shakuamon's head on there as a nod to Ankylomon's potential DNA digivolution, but also I like to interpret it as putting that Dogu's head on a spike. Yamabushimon's name comes from the Yamabushi, who were mountain hermits who adhered to a strict code of ethics that forbade them from engaging in worldly pleasures. These warriors were believed to boast special supernatural powers that led them to be considered as both mystical and spiritual. This I think very much ties into Cody's philosophy and what we learned from his grandpa and Digidestined friends on top of those Kendo principles. All right, it's TK and Kai Kari time, and beginning with Kari and Gatomon, we get this. Hathormon. Much like the others, I knew armors had to be important here, so asked Weirdomon to keep the specifically Egyptian theme from Nefertimon. As this is a biomerge with Kari, however, it has to go from a queen with Nefertiti to a goddess with Hathor. Hathormon gets its name from Hathor, the Egyptian goddess linked with the sky, the sun, kingsmanship, protection, and healing. All of which are traits I think make her a great fit for the Crest of Light, which is emblazoned on her headpiece. But it's not just Nefertimon and Gatomon at 
play here. The angelic side of Anduomon in a Fanimon is also very important to this Digimon, with the many wings evoking perhaps even Anduomon X, and the covered headpiece while having cat ears is very evocative of the two angels with covered eyes as well. Admittedly, we have seen unmasked Ophanimon before and I don't like it. Moving over to TK and Patamon, Patamon's hope armor, Pegasismon, also has mythological basis, but rather than Egyptian, it is of course Greek. And if Pegasus is the steed that carried Thunderbolts of Zeus, it would only make sense that Patamon's and TK's Biomerge Mega should be Zeusmon. A Digimon complementary in appearance to Hathormon, Zeusmon combines Patamon, Angemon, and Pegasismon to create a Greek god. While yes, lightning is an attribute of the Digimantle of friendship quite often, this is more focusing on the holy nature of Zeus and kind of holy lightning and the hope that springs forth from his children. Okay, yeah, that's a reach. But this biomage, I think, again, feels really unique. Zeusmon works amazingly in Patamon's line, but still feels different and could stand alongside Seraphimon and Godramon in its own right. I also maybe did a little bit ask for some of its design to be based specifically on the Disney Zeus from Hercules, because I like that movie a lot. And well, there are parts of the mythological Zeus that are just a little bit creepy. But yes, this comes together so well, especially having some of those Andromon and Pegasusmon traits translated into a whole new way. And hey, let's take a minute to pay some artists and give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Baiyi. Baiyi is of course the proxy service that lets you get access to goods from Japan. You know this by now. Baiyi have been a long time supporter of this channel and it rules because they work so perfectly for you, the Digimon community. You can use Baiyi to access websites like Makari, Rakuten, Yahoo Japan Auctions and Shopping, Japanese eBay and Amazon. Amazon JP, among many more, and get yourself a bunch of cool Digimon goods. Maybe you're looking for the original D3 Digivice, the Complete Selection Animation D3 Digivice. We're coming up really close on the release of the Super Complete Selection Animation D Arc. Maybe if you missed the opportunity to pre order, you might be able to catch yourself one of those on places like Yahoo Japan Shopping and Auctions, or maybe even Japanese eBay. There are a ton of amazing Digimon products and beyond to be found on Baiyi. If you're a Tokusatsu fan, if you're an anime fan, there's a a lot of spy family stuff on there right now and when you sign up for buy for the first time with my link in the description you will get a 2000 yen coupon which you can use on any purchase on any of the sites that buy supports plus buy is always giving away more coupons it's always worth checking your account to see if any new coupons have come in for things like free shipping discounts on specific websites buy is always running coupon campaigns so check my link in the description get yourself that 2000 yen coupon get yourself some digimon anime or whatever else it may be goods from japan and Thank you to Baie for sponsoring this video. Let's get to the next piece of art. But before we get to Ken and Davis, we of course had to throw it back to one of my favorite boys, and that is Willis or Wallace. Our blonde American from Hurricane Touchdown, of course, had to have a bio merge. But Willis has two partners, right? Terriamon and Cocomon, Lotmon, Wendigomon, whatever. I wanted this form to be kind of Zero Two's Justimon, a powerful form that also helps redeem or control darkness. While the dub conclusion of Wendigomon's story and the original JP version's conclusion are mildly different, Kokomon is still presumably reborn from its Digi-Egg in both versions, as we see in Last Evolution Kizuna. We would hope that would mean that the virus, viral infection, whatever it is, had been eradicated from its system, but we don't know that to be certain. Maybe there was still something rooted in Lopmon that needed purifying with Willis's heart, and so Willis, Terriamon, and Lopmon form together to become Gemini-Mon. Gemini-Mon is a two-for-one rabbit dog bundle of badass that has a right arm loaded to the teeth with ammunition and a left arm that deals devastating melee attacks. In reference to Lotmon's kind of good champion, Teruimon, and the more melee physical based line that is Lotmon's evolutions. While Terriamon's line's armor definitely encases this form, the power from the body of Lotmon, Teruimon, etc., are there to be seen, don't be fooled. This would be a really cool Digimon to show up in a kind of 11th hour situation, Willis joining back up with the other Zero Two Digi Destined. I do really hope that Willis shows up in the Zero Two movie, it would be a great reunion. And yes, of course, Gemini Mon gets its name from the twin constellation of Gemini. Okay, and finally for Ken and Wormon, I knew I finally had to cement that reference to Kamen Rider Kuga and Ichijo that Ken's epilogue outcome seems to be, with Ken Ichijoji and Stingmon feeling very similar to Ichijo and Kuga. So the two best friends will become Batamon. Bata, of course, means grasshopper in Japanese, 
Japanese, which any Kamen Rider O's fan will know, but also references the general grasshopper theme of many Kamen Riders. Ken and Stingmon's biomerged form is a vehicle for justice, meant to evoke specifically Kuga, but generally a lot of Kamen Riders. With its helmet, and of course its pose, and with trinkets that resemble digivices but turned gold, they probably aren't actually digivices though, acting as its henshin belt of sorts, allowing it to access attacks and powerful finishes. Ken's biomage being a Kamen Rider also ties into the idea that a lot of Kamen Rider's powers that they use for good in different seasons actually come from bad guy powers, which would tie into the whole Digimon Emperor Dark Ocean side of Ken really well, I think. There are also some beetle motifs scattered throughout as a nod to the Kawagamon family that often is in Wormon's line, but also the beetle themed Kamen Riders like Kabuto. And hell, we even have some pink bits scattered throughout the entire design, as well as a very specifically red Kamen Rider scarf as a shout out to the Digimental of Kindness, and yes, even Buchimon. We did that one for you, Buchimon lovers. You're welcome. And finally is Davis and Vimon. Our gogglehead biomerge of the two best pals becomes this, Victorymon. I felt it was important to keep up the V motif, but also again wanted a mega that felt distinct from Alt Force Vigramon, and that is what I told Weirdomon. As such, we get this wrestling themed Digimon who would take home the V for victory. Wrestling may seem like a bit of an odd theme, but I think it's one that really helps set Victorymon apart in a way that's less obvious than just making a dragon version of Footmon would. Its armor parts in in red and black, of course, call back to Flame Dramon and Ray Dramon, but also the flame patterns on Davis's coat. I don't think this was intentional, but there's also kind of a Volcano Ota Volcamon vibe, which I kind of fuck with. This feels like a very fun direction for Davis and Vimon to go. The showmanship Davis likes to exhibit, I think would translate very well to a baby face wrestler. And this Digimon being a fired up Kinikuman type would make his battle style feel very unique from both All Force Vidramon and Magnamon. Instead of what you're used to from Magnamon, and all force, you would instead have this Digimon perhaps power bombing his enemies or using his wings to fly up into the air to then frog splash them. Hell, I think Victorymon and Batamon together could even be a tag team for the ages. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching another video. Please do go follow Weirdomon on Twitter and Instagram. Weirdomon absolutely killed the art for this video as always. Huge shout out to all of you for watching. It is absolutely amazing, means the world to me. And of course, huge shout out to my sovereign level channel member ZDK14 as well as everyone you can see on screen right now for using their hard-earned money to support this channel. When you support this channel as a channel member you get early access to all my videos the second they're available, behind the scenes posts to the little memes and of course talking to me on discord etc. So now is a great time to sign up as we ramp into the September, October, November, December content. Check out the video below me because it is one that I know you will love and YouTube thinks so too and I will see you next time when we go digital. Bye bye.